Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here. And by the way, uh, you can find me on Odyssey, O-D-Y-S-E-E, -E, and on Rumble. That's for the time when uh, you know who kicks me off the air here. Uh, so, yeah. Now, remember, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, let's see. I was going to do one Bible study, but I think I'm going to do a health thing. Everybody in America, virtually everybody in America is deficient on iodine. Now there's what they call elemental iodine, and then there is potassium iodine, and then there is, I think it's, uh, I forget what they call it, but uh, I think it's providine, and that is the stuff that you put on your skin only. But elemental iodine and potassium iodine, you can take internally. You can drink it. Um, but you got to make sure you get the right, right kind. There is a thing called Lugol's, L-U-G-O-L-S, uh, iodine. It's a mixture of elemental and potassium iodine. Potassium iodine is what your pituitary, uh, is it the pituitary gland or the thyroid? Uh, it's one of those two, but in case there's a uh, radioactivity, like fallout or whatever, uh, they suggest taking potassium iodine because the body will accept that readily. And if it doesn't need iodine, it won't accept the radioactive uh, iodine, according to some health officials. Uh, that's their opinion, not mine. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just relaying what other health officials have stated. So yeah, if there's uh, any kind of radiation, nuclear fallout or whatever, uh, they recommend potassium iodine, which is readily available on like Amazon or what have you. But Lugol's iodine has that also in addition to elemental iodine. Now iodine is a really wonderful thing. Internally it's used for a number of hormones and the average American is sadly deficient in it. Uh, one of the few people that are not deficient on iodine are the Japanese because they eat seaweed and seaweed uh, kelp is kind of a dark purplish blackish kind of color that's because it absorbs the iodine and then they eat it however since uh fukushima disaster where they were dumping radioactive water into the pacific ocean i don't know how healthy pacific seaweed is anymore i mean i don't know but uh all i know is um they're one of the few people that are not you know, Japanese are one of the few people that are not deficient on uh, iodine. Americans are, uh, generally, as a rule, according to health officials, we are extremely deficient on iodine. Now, iodine, Lugol's iodine, is very good because, one, if you have a cut and you want to keep it from becoming infected, you can put it on a cut. According to health officials, doctors. So it's good externally. However, it is also good internally. Let's say you had a bad case of food poisoning. Some doctors recommend you could actually put a few drops in some water and drink it, and it would kill the bad bacteria. I don't know how true that is. But another thing, too, is by drinking it, you are giving your body iodine that it needs for hormones. 
but also let's say according to um, disaster officials and medical officials if you had water that was in a disaster area and you were unsure about its uh, ability to be safely drunk about you know bacteria uh, let's say you were unable let's say it was a flood now if you wanted to collect water you would grab a container now what I would do is take a coffee filter and put it over the mouth of the container uh, you could use a rubber band to secure it to the mouth or you could use your hands you know to hold it and use the coffee filter to filter out filter out you know small items you know bugs whatever so that you're just getting water and not debris into the container now if the container you could not um, boil the water let's say you were in a flood and you couldn't boil water you could put several drops of iodine in it let it sit for a while now if you want to know how many drops and how long well you need to look that up on your own because I'm you know get that from a medical professional but uh, I imagine if you put three four five drops of iodine in water and let it sit for a while you know maybe an hour or something it would be safe to drink according to medical professionals so you can use it for uh, to prevent infection with your skin you can use it for uh, general health like you would any kind of mineral or vitamin that you take in you know orally and you could use it to um, help sterilize water so iodine is something every medical kit should have and I cannot imagine if iodine would ever go bad I just can't see it now if you order J crows like yeah like a crow C-R-O-W Lugal Lugal iodine Amazon even sells it you don't want to use the original bottle because it's got a uh, a dropper which you know it's got a rubber top but what I would do is get a small glass dark dark glass container and stick the iodine transfer it from the original bottle to the new bottle with a hard cap on it and uh, stick it in a first aid kit and uh, you know doesn't hurt to uh, put a um, a drop in your water every couple of days you know my parents used to give me iodine when I was oh I don't know what probably elementary school trying to dad help and trying to help me grow he wanted me to grow as tall as I could be didn't really work but you know but um, every first aid kit should have iodine I mean it's just so you know it doesn't cost much and a little bit goes a long long ways I think you can get a bottle of J Crow's I think it's like one or two ounces for like 12 bucks I don't remember but uh yeah it's something to consider and uh, you know iodine is a uh, supposedly it's an essential mineral so keep that in mind alrighty well so much for health and safety and um, everybody should have a uh, personal first aid kit I had a guy that claimed to be a medic in the military and in Vietnam and he told me that uh, cayenne pepper cayenne red pepper would uh, stop bleeding but they were told not to use it in Vietnam and uh, he never could understand why because he says he could have probably saved a couple lives that had he used it but they were told not to use it but then again he probably didn't understand who was behind all these wars and 
who they wanted to get rid of and you know do they actually care about our health and safety i i'm very skeptical about that but what can i tell you so all right well i hope you have some nice health tips you know and um what can i tell you all right um rumble and odyssey chaplain bob walker yes indeed all right take care all blessings praise glory and honor in jesus name amen